Hello guys, welcome back to Indian Product Reviewer. And many of you are asking me to show if UTV connects to the PC or to any computer. So this is my View TV. I have reviewed this, and the link of this uh, of the review will be in the i button above, or the link will be in the description, so you can check that out. So as you can see, this is Windows 10 I'm running on. And you'll be like how I connected and how's the audio output. So everything I'm going to show you in this video. So hit that like button if you like the video and stay tuned. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set it up my PC and how I connected basically my TV, which is a view TV, as you can see. UTV with my computer which is here so this is my computer basically I use this as a server so this is this is this is a, this is a Portronics charger so ignore that I have reviewed that also so you can check that out this is my Tata Sky and that's my PC so I use this PC as a server so let's check it out so this PC is currently running as you can see So hold on a minute, I will just turn on the light and I will get back to you. Yeah guys, I am back and now as you can see here clearly. So this is my PC. I have wrapped it in plastic, uh, not uh, wrapped it. One side I have kept it open and I have applied a gelatin. And this is the dual side tape as you can see here. These are the dual side tape. And I have stick a thick gelatin paper, not the thin one, this is the thick one. And I have hold as you can see here this is the these are the holes for the ventilation so this is my kind of jugad you can see you can uh, do you can copy this or you can you know be creative and you can make your own because this kind of uh, sorry the side panel of this side is you know totally rusted because this cabinet is very old so i did this jugad because it just keeps on going inside so i did made this jugad so that's my hard disk that's a one terabyte hard disk C8 hard disk. That's my graphic card. I don't know if you can see here. This is my graphic card. Uh, it is uh, AMD. I don't know the series. I think 5000 HD 5400 series. So that's my processor. That also I have reviewed. Uh, the model number is G3220. So it's a fourth generation dual core processor. That's my RAM. And that's a 4 GB RAM. And it's on 1600 megahertz. And now I will show you the wiring. So as you can see, the HDMI wire, the two HDMI wires are coming and I have uh, what do you call it, tied it with a zip tie, green color zip tie and that's going behind and it's coming from here. So I will show you. So this is the power cable of, the, of my PC. That's all my LAN and keyboard wire and this is my HDMI. I will show you. So as you can see here. That's my HDMI going into my graphic card. Okay, so directly my my PC has a HDMI out by the way. It's also on available on the motherboard. It's also available on my graphic card. So if you want to plug your TV to your computer to your computer, your computer should have a motherboard which is having a HDMI port, or it should have a, a graphic card which has a HDMI port. Nowadays every graphic card has a HDMI port. So do check that out. If a motherboard is not having, put a graphic card, install a graphic card, uh, and you are good to go. And buy a graphic card, latest and obviously all the latest graphic cards are coming with HDMI out, so don't worry about it. And if you're buying, if you are currently assembling a computer or you're buying a computer, do uh, check that out that your computer is having a HDMI out behind. Okay. So that's how you can uh, that is why I'm telling uh, so emphasizing on graphic card because graphic uh, one HDMI port will give you audio as well as video output okay so audio is the main because only if you connect by VGI VGA port the problem is that audio is not going to come in your TV so if you want to watch a movie on your 32 inches or 42 inches TV uh, the audio is not going to come audio is going to come from the PC or uh, speakers and that you will be keep you know you, have, you must have kept it near your PC and your TV is far long so the sound won't be a you know uh, immense you sound or you don't get you know that kind of movie kind of feeling because sound is coming from one direction and unidirectional and that's the point so 
prefer connecting HDMI. Okay, so as you can see here, I've connected. Now, this View TV has a 3 HDMI port, as I said in my review video also. So, I will just quickly show you. So, this is the Tata Sky remote, and I will go quickly on the universal button and I will press this AV so it will change to HDMI and as you can see HDMI 3 so this is my Chromecast as you can see now I am going to my HDMI 1 which will be Tata Sky this is my HDMI 1 I plug Tata Sky on this and on HDMI 2 my TV output is there so my TV just got turned off because the universal remote was on So just a moment yeah so HDMI as you can see here so HDMI 1 it is on and I'm powering my Tata Sky on now so as you can see my Tata Sky is on and this is my Tata Sky and I will just quickly turn to HDMI 2 so on HDMI 2 as you can see my PC is there so this is my Windows PC as you can see here this is my Windows PC so what you need to do now you'll be like, what about the sound? So guys, I will show you about the sound now. Just, just a minute, I will just zoom it. Okay, now people will be like, uh, we connected the HDMI cable and the sound is not coming. So the, for the sound, you need to do some extra steps. So you have to click, I will show you again. So we have to click here and you have to go to the playback devices. So as you can see here, uh, the speakers are currently ticked. So my voice will be coming from my CPU speakers so what i will do now is that i will just right click on this and i will do set as default devices okay and i will also set as a communication device so what happened is right now is that my hdmi tv will throw the output of the sound so i will we will just check it out so i will just play some youtube video and let's check it out if the sound is coming or no so i will just Okay, I will just play any random video and as you can see here, the sound is coming. So let's start with the most important piece, your bookshelf. So I don't mean a literal bookshelf, although that's what I have here. What I really mean is I see a lot of people. So as you can see here, the sound keeps on coming from the HDMI to your TV itself. So that's how you connect your HDMI to your TV. So that's a simple setup, that's a you know quick video I just made because all the questions and the comments were coming like how to connect your TV or if I can connect my TV to my computer. So this is how you connect your TV to your computer guys. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and that's it guys. Thank you for watching.